In April of 2008, the parish published the new master plan based on in-depth study of the future ministry needs and dynamics of Summit County. In that plan, two facility priorities were identified. The need for a new and larger facility to replace the current Our, Our Lady of Peace, and the need for better utilization of the current space at St. Mary, especially for overflow seating and educational and meeting use. With that direction, we have engaged EDOS architects to design a project to accomplish those goals. What follows is an overview of those plans and the funding necessary to accomplish them. The balcony area in St. Mary, often used for mass seating through our high seasons, has several serious limitations. Our plan is to create better ventilation by adding windows to the rear walls and to create better visibility to the altar by elevating the seating and replacing the solid front railing with a spindled one. In the process, we will add a few extra seats as well. We are constrained by Town of Breckenridge regulations from expanding our space in any direction, so we must work within the existing walls. The common space between the old church and new church will be opened up and redesigned so that overflow attendance at Mass is better accommodated with additional seating and standing room with better visibility into the worship space. In addition, by moving the bathrooms and kitchen to the north side, the space will allow for division into classrooms as well as meeting and social space with table seating for up to 40. Minor renovations to the new church will include a new confessional and cry room area with the sacristy moved to the rear of the common space. In 2008, the parish purchased a five-acre parcel within the town of Silverthorne known as the Smith Ranch. This property is located on Highway 9, just south of Willowbrook, and north of the Elks Lodge and Come and Go Gas Station. To our west is a 50-acre parcel owned by the town of Silverthorne, intended to be developed as housing. The new Our Lady of Peace facility will be at the north end of this flat, vacant farmland on Route 9. To our south is commercial land, designated as a grocery and other shopping site. This is the site plan for the new Our Lady of Peace facility. Entry will be from an access road to the north. When the town of Silverthorne develops the land to the west, it is anticipated that there will be additional access along the back of the property to Ruby Ranch Road. The church has been oriented to avoid the snow and wind from the northwest while incorporating the mountain views to the west. Wetlands along, along Route 9 provide both a sound and visual barrier to the traffic. Space for a future rectory has been designated, although that is not in the current plan. There's parking for 150 cars, with room for an additional 44 spaces to support expansion. 18 spaces are located for access to the social area without the need to go through the church entryway. Removing the roof, we have a very functional floor plan. We enter through a covered walkway on the southeast side, away from wind and snow, into a large narthex or gathering space. To the right is the nave, or worship area, which seats 400 in pews, all with unobstructed views to the altar and tabernacle, which are raised. Behind the tabernacle is a working sacristy for servers and ushers and equipment. Confessionals are in each rear corner, and a multi-purpose and cry room space accommodates young families. On either side of the nave is a small prayer alcove, one dedicated to Our Lady of Guadalupe and one to Jesus, source of divine mercy. The narthex will seat 50 and accommodate 400 standing for overflow. At the opposite end of the narthex, we come to the kitchen, which serves after-mass coffee, as well as this large social hall with table seating for 200, which opens to an outdoor patio area. This 3,000 square foot space is the same size as the current Our Lady of Peace Church and can be used for education, meetings, and church functions. Opposite the social hall is the administrative wing with bathrooms, the conference room, and a vesting sacristy for clergy. The building has been designed for future expansion for the worship area, including a day chapel, as well as the social hall and the administrative and classroom areas, when our growth as a parish again requires additional space. The exterior elevations show a welcoming, identifiably Catholic church designed for our mountain environment. Although the exterior colors and materials are not finalized, the structural aspects have been determined. Driving north from I-70 and Silverthorne, you will see the 40-foot roof line with cross and the 48-foot bell tower welcoming worshipers. Driving from Willowbrook in the north, you can see the social hall beyond the church with Buffalo Mountain and the Dillon Dam in the background. This video fly-around will show you the church from all angles.
This is the view coming up from Silverthorne and I-70. On the side of the worship space is one of the prayer alcoves. You can see through the glass used for natural lighting into the narthex with the bell tower. This is the administrative wing which houses mechanical and utility rooms, the vesting sacristy, the conference room which can be used for brides at weddings. You can see it through the narthex into the worship space. Now to the new social hall with storage for tables and chairs alongside. Around to the back side of the narthex. The worship space with the second prayer alcove. working sacristy behind the altar, windows above the altar to throw light on the tabernacle and altar from above, and back to the entranceway. So what will it cost to complete this project? The new Our Lady of Peace facility is to be built on the Smith Ranch parcel, which cost a million and a half dollars. Construction of a 13,300 square foot building will cost 3.7 million at $278 per square foot. Additional costs for architects, surveys, permits, paving, landscaping, fundraising, and contingencies will be $782,000. Furnishing and fixtures will add 259,000 for a total cost of $6.2 million. The interior renovation of St. Mary's will cost $265,000 for a total project cost of $6.5 million. But we already have most of that covered. We paid for half of the Smith Ranch with cash generated by the sale of the Frisco Rectory, giving us $750,000 in equity there. The Hammer Ranch property, which was deemed infeasible for building the church, will be sold, providing an estimated $1.3 million in funds. When we reloc relocate to the new church, the old current Our Lady of Peace property will be sold. We've kept the value of the current Dillon Rectory out of this sale until we have a plan to buy or build a new one. This gives us a total of nearly $4 million already invested in the project. Thus, we are already more than halfway there, and our challenge is to raise an additional $2.6 million to move forward with the project. As the footnote shows, our architect estimates that we could save as much as a million dollars from construction cost if we are able to move quickly and start building next year. Please pray about your ability to support this important and exciting project and respond honestly to the survey you will receive from the Cosgrove Company, our fundraising consultant, so that we can accurately assess the feasibility of going forward. Thank you for watching, and please spread the word to other parishioners about this project.